morning. It's Wednesday, April 27th. Elon Musk convinced the Twitter board to sell him Twitter. Now, Twitter is much different from the companies that Elon Musk owns right now. Basically, Tesla and SpaceX. Those are manufacturing companies. They build things. Twitter is a social media company. And in his statement about buying Twitter, Musk declared that he wanted to bolster free speech. And I believe that means that he is going to loosen up the parameters that Twitter uses to govern the speech that it allows on its platform. And I am hoping that this doesn't mean that Musk will allow Trump back on Twitter, because that would be a fucking disaster. So in any event, I do not know for certain that Musk fully understands what he's attempting to do by changing the parameters under which Twitter operates. And he's invested $44 billion in this project. And I have no doubt that he has good intentions. But I don't believe he has the expertise to determine how to manage free speech and what is acceptable. Because when people speak, there are innuendos, there are sentences, there are voice changes, there there are many different things that affect believe they heard. And if you don't understand way the spoken word is presented. Problem. And I don't know that he has that expertise based upon his successes in the manufacturing world. I mean, he may have a great idea and he wants to make Twitter more liberal, so to speak. He's going to allow people to say many other things. But the many things that he may allow may be offensive to some, may really be outright outrageous. They could be discriminatory in many different ways. So we know that free speech is one thing, but hate speech is an entirely different thing. And we don't want a platform that allows that. So I'm not sure that Elon Musk is capable of doing what he intends to do. And I base that on some of my personal experiences. You know I have a channel on YouTube, which contains all of my rants. And there are over 700 rants out there, and plus probably another 300 cartoons that I did before I started ranting. So I've been out there a lot, and I've said a lot of different things. And I was taken down twice by YouTube because they misunderstood what I said. And I appealed, and I won both appeals because I didn't say anything that was hateful. And I didn't say anything that was discriminatory. And I didn't say anything that was politically incorrect, a whole bunch of things that you could look for. But their algorithm misunderstood what I said. You know what these algorithms do. They take the words, they assemble them, and they go through some list that they probably built up, and they said, aha, this word and this word in combination are no good, and therefore, bingo, let's suspend this thing. And then you appeal, and you say, put a human on it. Let a human read it. Right? Twitter has many more things to deal with than YouTube. But it doesn't matter when you're dealing with speech, it's the same. If you want to get the speech right, let it be not inflammatory, but maybe inflammatory is okay in his mind, or, but certainly discriminatory would not be okay. And lying, what about lying, outright lies? What about that? What about somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene talking about the space rays? that the Jews put out there to affect all of us. Or the fact that all Democrats are pedophiles. Is he prepared to allow that kind of speech platform? I would hope not, but I'm sure that there are many, many things that get out on Twitter that really shouldn't have been allowed out there, but they can't catch everything. So if he's buying this business to think that he can clean it up and produce better speech, I think he's making a big mistake. His idea of bolstering free speech is a good idea, but is he capable of managing it? That's the question. People say anything they want. Is that what his vision of free speech is? I don't think so. I would hope not, because the man has been successful. So I would hope that this 
task that he's taking upon himself, he's given it a lot of thought. And I would hope that he's prepared to put together a team of experts. A process that needs to be managed very carefully. Because we don't want a platform that allows lunatics out there spewing information that is incorrect, invalid. It should not be a platform that allows lies. So the combination of lies and hate is a difficult combination to manage. I think it could be a big mistake that Musk is making, taking Twitter over and de- declaring openly that he's out there to bolster free speech. He said in a tweet he hopes even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. So he's taking a view that says, if the guy talks about me, I don't care. But what if he talks about Jews or Muslims or Russians or Italians? What if he talks hate speech like that? Going to allow that because he himself will accept anything that anybody says about him? I don't think he really means what he says, and I don't think he realizes the magnitude of the issue. So, let's hope that he's able to correct the situation so that we don't have another Twitter episode like the one that helped incite the Capitol riot. Because Twitter had a significant role in linking all of those insurrectionists together. together. So... I leave you with that this morning because I think the task that Elon Musk has undertaken may be beyond his capabilities. Think about it. Take care. See you in the morning.